Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Eater SX2, your favorite PS2 emulator on Android, just got an update. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you're new to Eater SX2, I'll leave a link to a tutorial in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. It'll show you how to get up and started with this amazing PS2 emulator, the best PS2 emulator on Android. Now, if you're a user of Eater SX2, I definitely recommend checking frequently to see if it's up to date because this emulator is extremely active. It's still early on in development. Updates are still coming. In fact, we just got one. Eater SX2 was updated today, December 21st. And if we take a look at what's new here, if you have a Mali device, you might be happy about this. The first thing is a fix for constant color and alpha blending on Mali devices, for example in Silent Hill 2. The next item here is also a very welcome improvement, OpenGL performance optimizations. They did give an example here, Burnout 3 was running at 30 frames a second and now it's running at 45 frames a second at three times resolution on a Snapdragon 870. Additionally here for OpenGL, they've also fixed depth copies and readbacks and if we flip over to the Vulkan renderer, Minor rendering fix for Vulcan in some games, for example, Xenosaga or Xenosaga, depending on how you want to say that. And last up here, fixed traditional Chinese and language selector. Now, while it's great to see these improvements, I don't want to falsely get your hopes up here. If your phone is struggling to run PS2 games, it might still be struggling after these updates. If you're getting maybe 5 to 10 frames a second in a game, after one of these updates, you're not magically going to get bumped up to 60. It's not realistic to expect that. PS2 emulation does require quite a bit of processing power. If you're on an outdated device or a lower end device, you might always be experiencing issues here. If you want to learn more about Eater SX2 and kind of see what performance is like on other devices and see what other people are using here, check out the Eater SX2 Discord. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. It's an amazing Discord, a lot of nice people here, and you might have a good time. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Short, sweet, and to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Eater SX2 in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.